So as we're summarizing some of our discussion, a couple points we want to emphasize. Um, the first one, I guess I don't need to emphasize, which is a seize of the moment. Um, I guess I'll, I'll emphasize that for the 40% the that haven't gotten there yet. Um, leadership is now front and center in everybody's minds because that's exactly what's going to get us through the crisis. So please use the insights and the energy to keep leadership as a topic on your organization's agenda. There is no business as usual now, so you have the opportunity to redefine, refine your talent review processes, all of your talent processes, especially ones that everybody is complaining about or saying that they're not working. You know, we all have pride of authorship for the talent processes that we put in place. And we want to say, well, this is the way we've always done it. But now we need to have the courage to make the changes. So go for it. Um, the, the over half of our, our audience, which is pretty sizable, that's uh, moving ahead to make the changes. Our second point we want to leave you with is about measuring what matters. And one of the things the crisis has shown us is that there is a clear differentiation amongst our leaders. Some people are very quickly figuring out what to do in uncertain times and others are going back to their old playbooks and they are doing the kinds of things they've always done, which may or may not be working in this situation. So now's the time that you really need to redefine your future leadership qualities so that when you're doing your differentiation, you're doing it on the dimensions that you know make a difference. Perhaps you have had success profiles in place, job descriptions, competency models, what, whatever it is that you may be using to define leadership. Now is the time to really think about, are they measuring what matters? What is going to help your organization be successful in the future? Once you've done that, now's the time to update your data. You know, all of us now have been seeing our leaders on the battlefield, and that's yielded some pleasant surprises. Some people have far exceeded our expectations, but others who we thought were perhaps future successors and our high flyers have been very disappointing to us. So it's become clear that people we thought were hypos or people that we had in boxes for successors are actually not. So it's time to reassess your leaders, whether you're going to do it through formal assessments or through more informal talent discussions, but do it with the updated criteria to make sure that you get it right. And our last point is one that we've made throughout our conversation, which is virtual by design, not by default. It's not just taking processes that we've had in the past and putting them through a different channel, making them online, making them virtual. It's a completely new way of engaging and interacting with people. And there are some specificities that need to be planned up front. Um, we have some of these tips on our Corn Ferry website about how to uh, do virtual meetings um, if you'd like to go and uh, take a look at them.